Frank here at the ChampionsSoccerAcademy.com where we help young football mad players to boost their confidence, accelerate their skills and improve their attitude so they can be happy and successful on and off the pitch. This week I'm going to be talking about winning versus development. Uh, this is a hotly debated topic in, in kids football. Is it all about winning? Is it all about the taking part? I don't I don't even know what that means to be honest with you. It's all about the taking part. Uh, is it about the taking part? Uh, what does it mean? I don't know. Um, if you're coming off the pitch losing 16 nil every week and you say to a kid, you know, if they're coming off the pitch and they're losing 16 nil every week and you say to a kid, it's all about the taking part. Do you think that's going to have any impact? I, I'm not sure. I don't think so. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to win. Nothing wrong at all with wanting to win. Nothing wrong with players wanting to win and very often they do. Um, nothing wrong with parents wanting their kids to win and coaches wanting their players to win. Where we go wrong in this country is, you know, when the adults and, you know, the parents and the coaches take their focus uh, away from learning and enjoyment and focus too much on winning at the expense of the most important things in children's football uh, and, and even youth football to a certain extent, which is enjoyment and development. Okay. Now, of course, we all love to win. Uh, what I would add into that is that if you want to win, it's not just about winning now, it's about winning in the future. So the game is always changing. The game is always evolving. So if you just focus on winning now without developing the tools to win in the future, uh, and by the way, it takes years, at least 10 years, maybe 15, maybe even 20 years, starting from the youngest possible age, four, five, six, you know, to reach your peak as a footballer. So all that time is about developing every tool, every trick in the book to be able to win. And this is, again, where we go wrong in this country is we focus too much on the winning without developing the actual tools. So I hope I'm making myself clear there's nothing wrong with wanting to win. There's nothing wrong with striving to win. In fact, being competitive, having a competitive spirit, and even being aggressive is very important because, trust me, if a kid doesn't have a, a competitive spirit and a drive and a will to win, it's very difficult to coach them in, in, in football because it's a competitive game where two teams are trying to beat each other. So it is important, it's a good starting point, it's our job as adults, as parents and coaches to channel that focus uh, into developing so they can win in the future and also sustain themselves through all the training they need to do, all the development they need to do to actually get somewhere in the game uh, and become a, a, you know, at least a, a, a good player, a very good player and maybe even a top player, which a lot of our players want to be. Um, so I'm going to give you, let me tell you first of all a story from Bayern Munich. They uh, are one of the top clubs in Europe, probably even the world, right up there with Man United, right up there with Barcelona, Real Madrid, um, you know, and one of their youth team coaches was asked, you know, are you bothered about other youth teams in Germany beating you and winning, you know, titles and that sort of stuff? And he said, look, our title is simple. Five players in the starting formation, the starting team for Germany's World Cup winning squad. So it's very, very difficult to argue with that, isn't it? You know, is it all about winning at the, the junior level? Well, if you can produce players who've constantly learned and developed at the best possible rate, and then they've become win winners at the highest possible level, then, of course, it's very hard to, to argue with that and say, yeah, it's all about winning. They need, they need to learn how to win. Yes, they need to learn how to win. They also need the tools to be able to help them win in the future. So what can you say to a player before, after a game? Certainly after a game, as a parent, the worst thing you can say is, did you win? Because if they didn't win, then straight away, they're going to be down. All right? But if you say to them, what did you enjoy today? What did you learn today? Um, and what did you do well today? And straight away, you're going to take their focus onto things that can uh, you know, empower them, make them feel happier about it, help them get better, uh, and have a much more positive mindset regardless of what the score is. So certainly, I wouldn't encourage you to ever say it's not all about the taking part because I, I don't know what it means. Um, even saying to them it's not all about winning because if winning is important to the kids, then that's the conversation in their head and we want to enter the conversation in their head as a starting point to build rapport with them. 
you've heard me talking about this before, maybe if you watch some of the other videos. Uh, but then we want to guide them towards learning, enjoying and performing. Learning, enjoying and performing are the things that we can control. We can't control results. It doesn't matter whether you're Alex Ferguson, Jose Mourinho, certainly this season he can't control results. One of the best coaches, maybe even of all time, you know, with his track record of winning all in, you know, at the top level of, of all different countries. But you can control learning, enjoying and performing. So that's my message for today. Have a great weekend. Speak soon.